Many people bought 3D printers in order to print personal protection equipment during the pandemic. But now that that's faded a bit, what do you print? Well, how about printing something that you can actually sell and help pay for your 3D printer? I've been doing it for years. I'll explain how I got started and how you can too making money with your 3D printer right here at Filling Up Friday. My whole journey started when I needed a clip for the balance of our vertical blinds in our living room. I had broke one and rather than go out and buy one, I just took a good one, scanned it in, turned it into a 3D object, 3D printed it, snapped it in place, and it worked great. Now my sister came by, saw what I did, and said, can you print me a couple? I need them. And then while I were printing, she looked it up and said, hey, do you know they say sell these on eBay? And they were a lot higher than what it cost me to print them. So I threw a few up on eBay just to see if I could sell them. And I sold like a dozen of them within like 30 days. It wasn't big money. I only made like a dollar a clip, but it was like $12 in my pocket that I didn't have. And I thought, what else could I sell? Then it occurred to me, I had created a mailbox flag for my Rubbermaid mailbox. It was a video I did early on in the channel and it worked fantastic. And I did it because I couldn't find a mailbox flag anywhere. The only thing I could do was buy a whole new mailbox, which I didn't want to do. Well, that flag turned out to be a great seller. I put it up on eBay and I sold like 25 in the first week. It was incredible how many people needed that flag. And I was making a dollar or two dollars a piece. So that was like 25 to 50 dollars a week I was making with this mailbox flag. And it pretty much stayed at that rate for quite a while. And then I hooked up with someone on Amazon and they were selling 10 times that amount, buying them from me. Also, I allowed them to print some of them. So we were making money off the flags. By the time it was done, I was selling a thousand flags a year and that built my print farm. This flag is what built my print farm. And with that money, I was able to pay for all the printers, pay for the filament, and also tools and things to fix my printers because when you're running a print farm, things are gonna break. And eventually, I got to the point where I was buying filament in bulk, like a pallet full. In fact, we'd buy a couple pallet fulls to get enough filament plus at a price that we could make more money. And that's what turned into the Filament Friday filament because the Filament Friday filament is basically an overflow of those pallets that we bought for the print farm. So see, there's a lot of ways you can make money with your 3D printer if you just get started. The biggest thing you gotta find is something that you need that fixes a problem that you have. And once you've proved that the design works, then you can try and sell it to others. The flag also becomes a great test print. On the V2, the Ender 3 V2, or the CR6, they've both been printing them so I can see how consistent they can print a flag. And they both do a great job. That glass bed works beautifully. So it's a test print I don't really advertise, but I use it all the time when I get printers. Another thing that you need to be aware of is don't go grab someone's Thingiverse file, start selling it and say, oh, look what I've done. Because that's really not right. You should contact them and see if they're willing to sell it. Or give them a royalty. Now see, I used to share the flag file in my original video, but I had someone actually grab the file and sell it on Etsy 50 cents less than me and was stealing sales. And I thought, you know what, that's not right because I didn't release it commercial. I released it for people to use personally, but not sell it. And he fought me on it. Well, eventually I got him taken down at Etsy because he was using a copyrighted design. My buddy Clayton over at the Uncle Jesse channel, he made a video where he said he made $18,000 selling an accessory to an Xbox controller. It was someone else's design, but he worked out an arrangement with them, so he did it all the right way and still making $18,000. I'll put a link to his video in the description below. But the idea is to find something people need. That is the key. I had a product that didn't do well. I had the back of my shed a rack where I could hang the paddles from my kayaks. I thought it was great. I put those up on eBay thinking these are awesome. They're gonna sell a ton. I didn't sell a single one. I ended up giving them to friends and they thought they were great, but they said they probably wouldn't have bought one. <laughs> so there's some products that just aren't a hit. Even though it worked good for me and good for them, it just wasn't something you go out shopping for and buy. And there's other benefits from printing something that sells because you're printing all the time. So this is like a fifth generation flag. I'm constantly changing or improving it. And also you find settings you can do in your profiles to make the prints come out better, nice and smooth and flat. 
no warping, nice smooth finish on the bottom, good bed level. All that came from printing flags. I've also learned how to fix the 3D printers because they're printing all the time. I learned all the shortcomings like the PTFE tube that the last 20 millimeters kind of burns on these things after many hours of printing. So there's a lot of benefit for printing something besides just making money from selling it. What I also love about this is no one can complain about me buying filament or tools or accessories for my 3D printers because I'm paying for it. So I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comments below your ideas of how you're going to try to make money with your 3D printer. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. That way you don't miss an episode. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.